tell you about myself. There are many Cebuano leaders coming from different parts of the Visayas we have who are un uh, uncomfortable claiming their roots. Many of them would rather say they are just pure Cebuanos. But I was born in Bohol and proud to be born in Bohol. Which town, sir? I was born in Candelia, Bohol. I finished my elementary education in Candelia, Bohol. And I'm very proud of my teachers in the Candelia Elementary School. Before I moved to Leyte for my first two years in high school, and to Bohol for my third and fourth year high school years until now. I'm a lawyer by profession. And what do you specialize in your so practice? When I became a lawyer at age 27, the owners of the University of Visayas asked me to join the faculty. I was then the youngest professor of law, and I started teaching in June 1978. I retired in 2018 as a teacher, but as the associate dean of the college of law. In all those 40 years, my subject was one of the most difficult in the bar exams, political law. And we define political law as the branch of public law which deals with the organization of government and defines the relationship of the state with the inhabitants of that territory. Harold Lamb, I have written and prepared 14 bills. And I'm now, oh. Yes, I believe of the congressman. And I promised the people to have my student. Yeah, for my Pili Cook Congressman, first day in office, I filed all these bills with the Secretariat of the Congress and request the leadership of Congress and many more myself happening for the motion for legislation because there are three major steps. First reading, second reading, third reading. And I got on to, uh, before the end of my term, most, if not all, of these bills may be open up. Why the congressional seat, sir? I'm sorry? Why congressional seat, not local? I served the city as a city councilor mm -hmm. in 1988. And in the the most effective functioning ordinance that is used by the city today I wrote it in 1980. This is the garbage ordinance. Nobody has dared to amend it or to repeal it, and so it remains to be effective and functional. And so my mind is trained on lawmaking. My thought processes are on legislation. It happened as in 1988, I was a local legislator. So among the 14 legislation I proposed, what, what's, you know, in the highlight, you know, which one you can say? Uh, I would say every one of these, they, they attend to different concerns. But I want to keep that uh, the biggest concern of the city of Cebu now, I want to keep that when I have run around, kind of among squatters, they live in squalor, squalid situation. I have seen abject poverty. And a few times, I could only shed my tears. Crappy, I mean, I'm not okay. So I thought that should be, I could not have given up the number seven is our legislative agenda, but it now has evolved to become number one. So we pay crappy kadangan for squatters living in a very, very tragic situation. So what's this law para makatabang sa squatters or unsa may? I put it this way. The essence of this proposed bill is according to the of an act setting up the Cebu City Protocol in solving informal settling. So when I have term terms as quarters in formal settlers. But I can keep that in all election times, the old women squatters and the political to be open in that situation. I have seen nobody 
of the successful politicians go back to their places in ang kampanya magdaog solusyon kahit ang lupon ang gihapon sa sunod pag eleksyon so I thought but, uh, preparing this bill na ang unod din ang inyong palawin is at target ang squatters o chance na magkapalit sa iyo kang iparugat siyang bayit sa kaya sa iyong usap So in effect, the uh, idol has became the, the haven of squatters. Board their minds and perhaps the investments into this last. Ni do na kaming malugara, ni di do kami mostrate area. So dili that dili kay lisod na si mga tagya to make sure na malupit din mas waters. Ni do na sa ibalik nga investment kita every year. Pero pa na siya problema, sir, kay kasi ang um, tag-iya sa yuta, kaalyado sa loob na yung politiko niya, gusto siya i-implement. I do not foresee it as easy job in my part. I recognize the enormity of the problem. And I feel that there will be huge objections to the proposal that I have. But I'm prepared for the objections. Because all along, I realized na kung makita lang sila ng kayuhan sa tanan, daghan squatters, imagine na daghan squatters will be kasi na, buhal ikan sa squatter area, dako na kanyang kakusan sa itong society. So nagtuo ko nga mga lot owners who might easily propose, eventually we'll see that it's better na makuha nila ng idolas in favor of the squatters to become a decent livelihood guy. What's your stand on those politicians with no um, lawmaking background or political studies? You're talking of my opponents? <laughs> <laughs> it was your fix, sir. Well, ako ni Bawar, na dunay na po ay kaatbang sa politika, nga nangang po na siya graduado to face my therapy. Napangutan na na akong mga kuhanak na doktor na nagtutok ng medicine sa Cebu Veles College Ingon siya na ang occupation of therapy ay murag mo sa Istas Hospital So kung siya may nakuha sa murag mo sa Istas Hospital at sa Kongreso Kaduha, doon na po'y kaatbang na artista Kung niya nakainundong tas track record ni Lito Lapid ni Gong Rivilla Kung siya may nakuha nila wala. Dapat ka bang nga nakaskwela ko ng HRM o sa may makuha sa Total Investment Management na sa Kongreso according to Article 6, Section 1 of the Constitution legislative powers of the investigated Congress of the Philippines kung niya matul pa sa itong Supreme Court ang gabong sa Congressman o regime to make laws to amend laws or to repeal laws. Now, kung sa may tao ay mabuhat, sa tao, naway idea sa law. Mga magkani, nga seven months ago, a certain Willie Revillamy, who is as popular, you know, he must be in Wawawi, he was asked to run for a Senate seat or a congressional seat, and he politely refused the offer, he came out of here, Kung sa may ang buha ko sa Kongreso na kung man sige po ang sa Pamalao, ganyan yung kumusya siya siguro kung magkatao, kaya popular man ko, pero hindi na po kung sipusikan ang sipusikan ang magkatao, kaya wala na, kaya magkatao. Eventually, I think uh, really, really made sense when he said, 
wala akong alam sa loob kasi hindi ako Yeah, so from your, from your years in the city council, do you have a, other political experiences? Well, uh, I served one term in the city council, mm. although my wife also served another term 10 years after my term. But I worked in Malacanang one day, one time. Ako ang um, director of legal affairs with President Miguel Durant. And I made sure that when I go, I can't accept my close friends. Kai, ang akong trabaho sa Bratanya, is very sensitive. He was very sensitive, I would say. Nga naman. Atong i-describe akong trabaho, ha? Why papel del mas is less than del verano sa wakot yun? That's how sensitive my position was. So I made sure na family circle and nabaw ng trabaho harap pang hindi kaya sa whatever. Kung nai results upward sa election, sir, and then it will go to your favor, but you will be given a position either sa national or sa dili sa local, would you accept? I'll tell you this. I'm not running for myself, not for fame, not for honor, not for glory. I am doing this because I feel I could serve what Ramon Magsaysay said. Uh, before Magsaysay died, he said, Los que tienen menos en vida deben tener más en la ley. In English, those of less in life must have more in the world. I realized that Nga na po sa pre-departure with that, in all honesty. Huwag na po itago na na I am not young anymore. So, nagtuo po nga if I can just do one term and make sure that the 14 bills and maybe more na akong ganda ang mahimong balaw ako ng legacy sa mga tao imagine na lang po kung ang mga squatters karoon Sometimes in the future we say, Oh, God, as long as man, I've been there, I'm going to be able to come as well. But you know, what legacy can I give to people who are not going to be able to come as well? Or you know, you know, you know, the products of it, I have written another proposed bill, I'm going to be able to come as well, and I'm establishing the Central Precise Blue Color University, actually, Bora na yung technical vocational school na kung set up ng kapasaran ng palawan na yung mga isipositi. Kung yan, imagine na ka, if many blue color workers na yung mga buwa pati yung school lahat ng total na kanil kung yung isman ko na bilip, yung tako ba yung nani kay Bukaro? Yung tako na nani ako na pinagawa. Those are the things that I'm looking for. So, kung yan ako, after one term, I don't see any real action. Ko, nga mga tao, nakipaw, na because I'm doing this for a legacy, not for anything else. Nato ko nga, usalig sila, at dinurgan nga akong ipangandang ikaw ng balaw mo, uh, that can serve them when I'm ginamit na ito. Inuto, inasigkasi ng libyo na pamati. So, government service, no more. Thank you very much. Aside from being a congressman. Only one third, sir. I am looking for only one third. Going back in your being counselor in 1988? 1988 to 1992. Isa kung nga lugar ang district. Sibusin din o district ako. Sumana sir, ibalik doon doon, ngano ikaw ang pilion sa Norte North Distrito sir, ngano ikaw? Uno, tungod kay ang abogado maong sa Congress. Dos, tungod kay I have bills which in my explanation to the audiences, madawat sa mga tao, maglaro nila na parag yun sa katawas. Ano mo siya na ka, 